It's another dim sum dish that gives us that joyful, crunchy bite. Hi everyone! I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'll be doing a collaboration with Hubby to show you guys how to make fried taro dumplings or wukok in Cantonese. Without further ado, let's get started! What I've got here is a nice piece of taro. Firstly, let's slice the taro to about one centimeter thick. Place the taro in a steamer basket and steam it for 40 minutes. Try to separate them out. What I've also prepared here are some minced pork and peeled king prawns for the filling. While waiting for the taro to be cooked, heat up the wok with some oil and quickly chop up the garlic. Lightly sweat the garlic until fragrant. Then go in with the minced pork. Break them down so it's easier to cook them through. Cook them until they loosen up. Now let's quickly dice up the peeled king prawns. Place in together with the minced pork. After that, quickly chop up some shiitake mushrooms. Pop in together with the rest and give it a good stir. Cook the minced pork and prawns well. Then add in the chicken stock followed by oyster sauce. Soy sauce. Dark soy sauce. Salt. Chicken powder. And sesame oil. Then give everything a good stir. Once everything is cooked well, thicken the filling by adding diluted potato starch. Continue to stir it. When the filling reaches to a texture like this, remove it from the wok onto a plate to let it cool down. The filling has to be in such consistency so it's easier to wrap them up. It's time to check our taro now with a chopstick to see if it's cooked. Looks like it's nice and soft, so let's remove from the steamer basket into a big mixing bowl. Mash them up with a spatula or potato masher. When the taro has turned into a mushy texture, let's prepare the wheat starch. Gradually pour in the boiling hot water into the wheat starch and give it a good mix. Try to mix them up as much as possible. After that, transfer to a worktop 
and knead it for about a minute or so until it forms into a dough. When the dough is smooth and soft, mix in with the mashed taro. Season with some salt and white pepper powder and give them a good mix. You can do this process with a stand mixer if you have one. When both of them are bind together, add in the lard. Continue to mix them thoroughly until it reaches to a texture like this. Refrigerate the taro dough for 30 minutes with cling film on. 30 minutes has gone by. Transfer the taro dough onto a worktop. Now it's time for hubby's hands to get into some action. Roll the dough out into a cylinder shape and divide into half. Roll it out again and divide into two portions. Then cut each portion of the dough into four equal sizes. Take each dough, flatten it into a round shape then place the filling into the middle. Fold it over and seal the edges up. Repeat the same process for the rest and our wukok are ready to be fried. Form the wukoks into an oval shape when you are sealing them. Next, place them onto a spider strainer. Then, slowly dip them in the heated oil at 175 degrees Celsius. Fry these taro dumplings for about 2-3 to three minutes. Once you get that nice bird's nest effect, it's ready to be taken out. Please give a thumbs up if I've made this video enjoyable to watch, share and subscribe plus don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Until next week, I'm digging into these scrumptious crispy wukok. Mmm, look at how spectacular that bird's nest or beehive effect is. Too irresistible. Mmm. Texture is crispy, lovely, just brilliant. Bye guys!